Hi guys, my name is Trevor Sullivan. I wanted to share with you a new open source project that I'm working on around the Microsoft Windows and specifically the PowerShell platform. However, what we're going to be doing in this particular module is actually automating some of the configuration of the Windows Terminal and the Windows Terminal Preview version that are available on the Microsoft Store. So for example, wouldn't it be really cool if you could use a simple PowerShell command to not only install custom schemes, color, color schemes or themes rather, but wouldn't it be cool if you could automate toggling those different themes depending on things like time of day, your mood, how hot your coffee or how cold your beer is, uh, and, and other attributes like that. So what I did is I went ahead and started creating a module on, for PowerShell called Terminal and exposing some of this configuration functionality to the end user. Now, this is actually surprisingly easy to do because basically all we're doing is manipulating a JSON settings file for the Microsoft Terminal. However, it gets a little bit more hairy because there's actually two different Microsoft terminals. Of course, there's the release slash production version, and there is the preview version as well. So we have to kind of account for those things as part of this module. So let's jump in over to the desktop, and I'd like to show you just really quickly how some of the very early stage functionality in this module works. All right, so here we are in the terminal session, or rather VS Code, and basically I've got a Windows Terminal Preview here. You'll see the text is a little bit larger here. It has a slightly non-default background. I think it's using the Campbell theme right now. Uh, or actually, sorry, no, one half dark. Anyways, um, basically what we can do, thanks to this module that I'm still actively working on, is there is a command exported called set terminal color scheme. And basically the way that this command works is you can specify if it's for the release version or the preview version, and you can specify a profile ID, which is actually auto-completed or tab-completed for you thanks to IntelliSense functionality in PowerShell. Plus, you also need to specify the theme that you would like to uh, set your shell to. Now, in this particular case, we haven't installed any third-party themes, so we're not going to get the IntelliSense, but if I had actually installed some third-party color schemes, you would see that IntelliSense available because uh, it's actually written here. So basically, let's go ahead and just test out this command. I'm going to put uh, VS Code off to the side here, and then you'll see my terminal preview up here in the top right-hand corner. So let's go over to this test file. And basically what we're going to do is specify a profile ID. And the reason we have to do this is because we're not going to be running this script inside of the terminal. If we were, we could actually just avoid specifying a profile ID because my module actually knows what the profile ID is thanks to an environment variable. So I'm just going to get rid of the here. And basically what we're going to do is specify the profile ID and then call a bunch of commands, set terminal color scheme, and we're just going to alternate between different themes here. So basically what we're doing is we're kind of remotely, so to speak, configuring our Windows terminal session. So let's hit F5 or actually Control F5 to run this. And as you can see, we are basically just waiting two seconds and alternating the color theme for this particular profile ID. So that's just for some of the early functionality that's available in this module. I do have in mind to possibly add some other functionality around changing other values, like setting the acrylic value and being able to automate that over time, and a bunch of the other settings that are inside of the settings.json for the Windows Terminal. Anyway, I hope you guys like this functionality. I would love to hear what kind of feature enhancements you'd like to see in this module, and always feel free to contribute to the module once it goes live as well. Thanks, and we'll see you soon.